Let's create a new page, a login page for our whole application and in doing so we'll be able to understand the whole routing in Ionic project. So let's try to create some app where a user can give the username and a password and will authenticate it and then only it can go to our whole application. So let's try, go back to our code and try to implement this. So the first thing which we need is this new page because we need some page where we can display the login credentials where the user can put their credentials. So let's create this new page using the above method. Ionic G for generate page, then let's say the page name is login. And hit enter. It will create a new page uh, of and a folder called login in our uh, in the place where we have these tabs. So we can say we can see this login folder. This is a new folder which we got. So first thing let's try to create uh, the HTML part where we can take the input from the user. So let's just copy paste our card which we used in a tab three. And let's just copy paste this card and instead of our text down there, we can use the input uh, to, uh, to ask for user for their credential. Inside the any content. Uh, we'll delete all of this and instead of that we'll ask for the details from the person. So we can say uh, this is nothing but. Login here. And lock the title name can be. Login for user. And inside the card content, let's delete this text. And here we can use uh, the iron item. And in each an item we can give an input. And inside this input, let's just specify the first name is for the with the help of placeholder. We can say the first one is for username. Similarly, let's try to create a new an item which is for the password. And uh, let's have some space in between these two iron items with the help of break line, which is PR. So let's go back to our application and see what's going on there. So as usual, we cannot directly go to our page. And if you look in the routing, uh, the app routing module.ts file, This is the tab one. So the app routing module.ts file, which controls the routing for the whole app. Here are these two uh, parts. First one is tab four, and other one is for login, and one is for with uh, just a blank. If you remember, we created the two pages. First was tab four, and the other one was login. So while creating, it always shows that it has updated the app routing module.ts file with the update here. So this is the update with it, which it does. It adds this new routing so we can directly go to that page. So if I say uh, go to this login instead of this old URL, just go to login. We come to this login page which we just created in our login page.html. And similarly, if we go to our tab four, we can come to this tab four section and see there's no button down below because that buttons were from the tab routing. And this is separate routing for separate page, which we are not interested in. But we can see our login page has been made. 
once we click on the username we can give the username and after that we can give the password and we also need a button to submit our details so let's create a button to let's create a break here and after that let's use the iron button and we can say this is enter so once the app updates we can fill our username password here and then hit enter and this is where we want uh, the app should go right now when we go to this uh, app location it automatically goes inside our main tabs app which is basically our whole app which we don't want so uh, how can we shift this view of how can we restrict our app to go on to login page rather than this tabs page so when i say go to tab tabs it goes automatically to our application but when i say go to this slash login it goes to login page but by default when i go to the localhost 8100 it goes to the tabs page so all of these settings are inside our app routing module dot ds file so here you can see when there is nothing it says goes to tabs module we don't want it so let's say when we say go to app then go to that module and by default we want it to go to login so now when we go back to our application so when we refresh it when we go back to our local host 8100 it takes us to login page rather than the application page the tabs page we can say so now uh, this one more thing to know when we go to this apps now let's try to go to the app now we don't see anything why is it happening let's inspect that so we are saying in a routing that whenever you are in the app page go to tabs module so let's go in our tabs module and click it's routing here so once we come onto this tabs routing dot module dot ts file here we see there is first thing which is trying to say for tabs path and then there are children path this means that when the path is tabs and the children's path is tabs tab 1 which means uh, the local host slash tabs slash tab 1 then go to this module so right now in our app routing dot module file we are saying when we go to local host slash app go to this log tabs module and here we are saying when the path has is slash tabs so we don't want this tabs right now so right now what what it will be searching for whenever it comes to this tabs routing which means it will come to when we have slash app so when there is nothing after the slash app and if the path uh, has nothing then a slash tab 1 then it will go to this module the tab 1 module let's try that out in our application so we say when we go to slash app it should come into our tabs module and inside this tabs module if we have nothing after the app right now we have nothing and then if we have slash tab 1 which means slash tab 1 then it should go to this tab 1 module let's hit enter and we got to our application the tab 1 module and let's Uh, go down below and here we can see there are some path which redirect it when we go to this tabs only so let's make it app and let's make this app 2 and now refresh our page and go to our local host which will be the login page and now when we add the app it goes to our application so this is how the sub routing and the routing works first we tell with the routing 
in the app module or the TS file, and then we went inside the routing of this page only, and there we deal with the sub routing which happens inside the tabs. Now let's um, let's go to our login page and try to make it uh, go and authenticate the user and on the basis of that make it login to our main application. So let's go to our login page.html and the first thing which we need is the to a data binding between this property to the properties inside of a class so that we can uh, get this data and verify it in our class only. So let's bind this with our uh, two way binding using ng model. So use ng model first we make a square bracket then with the parentheses we say ng model and this will be equals to some property. We haven't defined any property in our class, but let's say we'll define it as username. And similarly for the password, we can say it will be password. So now let's define this properties too in our class here. Username and it is of type any and similarly password and it is also of type any. So whenever the user will put any details in this uh, input, it will go to this property. It is binded to this property, which is username and the password. And let's try to print this inside some function when we click on our login button. So let's try to create a method which can be login me. Inside this method, let's try to just uh, print our our username and password. So let's just try to uh, console log our username and password. So console log, then this username, comma, this password. And let's use the uh, property binding or the event binding to uh, add a click event to the button and assign this method. So let's add a DOM event which is click, and this is equals to log me method. Now let's go back to our page and try to uh, write username as user and password as pass and hit enter. Let's try to inspect the elements here. And as we can see, it has printed user and pass here. So our method is working fine and the binding is proper. We are fetching the data in the back end and printing it on the front end. So let's go back here. And now let's try to authenticate our user on the basis of the details it put here. And this is quite simple. We just need to use if condition. And here we can say this username. And right now we are hard coding it, but uh, you can do that. And you can put the logic to authenticate a user, but for just a description of how we can do this. I am hard coding it as user is only equals to user and the password should only be equals to pass. And if this happens, we should be able to go back to our application, which is on slash app. This can be done using the routing. We need to import the router from the Angular router. So let's import it using import then router. And this is from at the rate Angular slash router. And we need to create a private prop 
private object of this uh, router class using the short method of using private keyword inside the constructor private then we can say the uh, object or the property is router and it's of type router and here we can use this property as this router then it should be able to navigate inside the parentheses we give a uh, square bracket where we can give the location of the place where we want to go if this uh, if we come inside this if block so the application the place where we want to go is slash app so let's go back to our page the login page and in the username let's type user and the password let's type pass and we hit enter we go back to our main application page so this authentication is working let's go back to our uh, login page and as you can see when we type in the password it displays which is not very common this is because in the placeholder we haven't specified the type uh, in our input we have not defined what type of input we are taking so we can add a type here which says type is equals to password and now let's go back to our login page we can say user and now the password is getting right let's try to print uh, give some different username user01 and password pass let me hit enter nothing happens because it is hard coded on user and the password as pass only and we had, when we click enter with the correct credential we go back to our application this is how we create a user authentication in our simple ionic app